Hi guys, welcome to Bake Monkey. Tonight we're gonna be making some chewy chocolate chip cookies. Chips Ahoy Chewy to be exact. And if you love Chewy Chips Ahoy but you want more of that homemade flavor, you're gonna love this recipe. Let's get started. Now a lot of you are probably thinking to yourself, Bake Monkey, I thought we were making cookies tonight. What's all the deal with the stovetop stuff here? Well, to answer your question, we're gonna brown our butter. That's what's going on. You put your butter in a pan, you sizzle it over the stove for a little bit, and bam, your butter gets a nice kinda uh, toffee kinda flavor there. Just adds a whole nice dimension to the cookie itself. We add our sugar to that nice brown butter and we set that aside for about 20 or 30 minutes to let it cool down. I put mine in the fridge so it got a little firmer, but um, you do what you want. These are your cookies. Uh, after that, we're gonna add some coconut oil and the brown sugar. Mix that all in real nice. This is another place we get a little kooky. We add some uh, heavy cream, an egg yolk, and meringue powder. You probably don't know what meringue powder is, but it's basically a mixture of dried egg white and uh, cornstarch. So get that in there. Adds a nice soft texture to the cookie here. And get your rising agents in there, your baking soda, your baking powder, little vanilla extract coming up here. Uh, is anybody else just mesmerized by watching somebody stir? I don't know what it is, but you're gonna get your share of uh, watching me stir in this video. Just take it all in. Enjoy what you see. We got nowhere to be. Okay, so we're on to the flour. We're gonna start with a quarter cup bread flour because bread flour's got a little bit more gluten in it. Gives your cookie a little bit chewier texture. Uh, after you get that mixed in, we're gonna go to a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Mix that in like the Dickens, and then we're gonna do one more tablespoon all-purpose flour after that just to get us the right consistency going here. Um, after we get that mixed nicely, we're gonna move on to our delightful little milk chocolate chips. Aren't they cute? Pour those puppies in there and uh, give those a good mix in too. Don't overmix your batter, but once you're happy with the consistency, get that dough covered up and put it in the fridge for about 20 to 30 minutes just to let it settle and harden. At this point, we can uh, pull them out and start making our balls and time lapse into a magically full tray of cookie dough. Smooth your cookie dough balls into nice little pucks and pop them in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. Uh, they come out looking sweeter than Al Pacino's hair. These are real golden beauties here. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've really enjoyed the recipe. Hey, show me some love. Click subscribe and uh, keep watching for the next episode.